So one of the challenges to those trying to install Lightroom for the first time is what most people call Lightroom is now technically Lightroom Classic CC because Adobe wanted to use the original name Lightroom CC for a different program. So a lot of people will install Lightroom CC thinking they're getting Lightroom and not realize they're not getting Lightroom CC that most instructors are talking about, which is now Lightroom Classic CC. I thought I would just do a quick video to show what I think is the best way to install Lightroom Classic CC. There are a couple of ways to do it. I like this way the best because you also will familiarize yourself with Adobe Creative Cloud Desktop, which is required to install any of Adobe's apps. And you might as well install it first and then install Lightroom through that so you're familiar with it. If you just go to adobe.com or if you actually just search for Adobe Creative Cloud Desktop, and you'll get a couple of hits. The best one I think to use is this one that says desktop app HTML because it will take you right to where you're after. This one might as well, but I think it tries to sell you on pricing and stuff. If we go there, we can simply click this download button. You will be required to sign in. You have to authenticate yourself. If you don't have an account, there's a link on this page that you can sign up instead. If you have an Adobe ID, just use that. And at that point, it will download a small file to your computer. This is a disk image file. You just double click here and it will mount on your computer. And a little window will open and you simply double click the Creative Cloud installer. You might have to go through some security measures. If your screen is different than this, you might have to go to the security preference pane to authorize it. Put in your Mac username and password. Obviously, this is more for Macintosh users. I'm sure Windows users can follow the same procedure and just substitute their own security and password systems in place. This will take a few minutes to download and install, and I'll be back when it's done. Once the installation completes, you will notice in your menu bar, the little Creative Cloud icon shows up, and a window should pop down from that. If not, you can click the icon to get the window to show up. Here again, you might need to sign in if you haven't signed in already. It looks like it, so remember that I'm signed in. And you just click here on the apps, and this lets you see all of Adobe's applications and lets you download and try any of them and purchase the ones you want to use. If I scroll down, you can see that I have Lightroom CC, which a lot of people think is Lightroom CC that we've been using because that's what it's been called for years. Of course, now what you want to do is try Lightroom Classic CC because that's the version that everybody talks about and everybody's using. Just click the Try button. If you've already licensed it, that will say Install instead. And we just wait for that to install. At the top, you can watch the update of the installation process. Right now, I'm up. the uh, program is updating Creative Cloud. And as soon as that's finished, it now is installing Lightroom. It will take a few minutes, depending, of course, on your download speed. So I'll be back as soon as that's done. And so that has finished. We can go ahead and close this window. And now if you look here, you'll see that Lightroom is installed. It tells you how many days you have left in the trial if you're just trying it out and gives you an option to buy it. If you have already licensed it and signed in, then it simply just says launch. Before launching our Lightroom, let me click the button. That takes us to the page where we can actually buy the three versions. I think it'd be easier if I just sit, I go to a, just, I'll type in compare photography plans. And that gives me a more useful link so you can compare. Basically, there are three plans. Most photographers are interested in this first one. You get Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. And those are the two main programs you're interested in. You can also try out Lightroom CC if you want because it does give you 20 gigabytes of cloud storage space so it can kind of give you an idea what Lightroom Classic or what Lightroom CC does now. If you actually like Lightroom CC and want to use both 
Lightroom CC and Classic CC, you can pay the $20 a month and it gives you a full terabyte of cloud storage to go along with your Lightroom CC application. If you happen to decide you just like Lightroom CC and you don't want to use Classic or Photoshop anymore, you can go back to the $9.99 a month with the terabyte of storage, but you don't get either Lightroom Classic or Photoshop CC to use. To launch Lightroom the first time, the easiest way is just to go up here in your, this little dock and just click here where it says Lightroom Classic. That will launch the program. If you haven't ever used Lightroom on the machine before, it will create a new default catalog for you. This will be in your pictures folder and your user folder on your computer. That catalog is probably not the one that you're going to want to use. And in the next video, we will talk about some things you might want to consider before creating your first catalog. And then, of course, we'll go into the process of starting your first catalog and getting your photographs imported into it. This screen will come up each time you start Lightroom if you're doing the trial version. And you can it tells you how many days you have left. And you can go ahead and go to the purchase option here again if you want. Or you can hit continue the trial. Because this is the first time this specific version of Lightroom has been launched, it's telling me what changes were made. These are a few of the, the changes that happened in the last update. One advantage to the Creative Cloud version of Lightroom is as Adobe adds features or improves things, they pretty well get rolled out as they go. You don't have to wait 18 months for some big 25 feature improvement to the software. Rather, you'll get little things moving all along. And most of the time, they're useful, and it's a pretty good way to go. So because this is the first time it's been launched, this uh, screen will come up and talks about taking Lightroom everywhere, and this is basically gives you the ability to sync a collection of your images to your smart devices, iPads, iPhones, etc. cetera. Um, I would just hit continue, and we'll talk about that later. Leave it off for now. Next, you'll get a little pointer that gives you some suggestions. Here it's telling you that sync has been turned off, which is what we just told it to do in the last screen. And I'm not sure why they're telling me this again already, but just ignore that. You will now get some little windows and tips that tells you how to get started. And best thing to do here is just close that and get rid of it. So anyway, this is the default catalog. And as I mentioned, probably before you start importing and using the catalog, you might want to watch the next series of videos just to be comfortable with your first steps. Hopefully that helped you install Lightroom for the first time. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for listening.